People that have woken up in bed with a stranger. What's your story? Not woke up with one, but came home from primary school around 11 years of age. To find the complete stranger in my bed. Being completely naive thinking he was a family friend. I made us both sandwiches to give to him. I returned to my room to find him gone. I now look back at this with complete horror. My family finds it amusing that it took me years to tell my family about it. I know a guy who went home with a stranger. Went pee in the middle of the night naked. Went back to bed. Woke up to screaming. He had gone back to the wrong room and was naked in her mother's bed. Ouch. One time at my cousin's house party I was absolutely out of social energy and went to a room to go to sleep and I woke up in the middle of the night with two of the most jacked dudes I've ever seen curled up together next to me and a unit of a bulldog sleeping in between me and the dudes. One of the guys saw me wake up and he asked if it was cool to sleep there and I said that I didn't mind but he should let me have some of the blanket because it was peeping freezing. He said no problem bro and then tucked me in like some mother hen and then said good night bro. Speep was the most strange slash wholesome thing I've ever experienced. Undefined. It's not gay to tuck the home is in. Not exactly the answer to the question, but my dad told me something scary after his stroke. Because he couldn't feel one side of his body, he would sometimes wake up in the middle of the night and think a stranger had broken in and was laying next to him. He would have to calm down and remember that he'd had a major stroke and didn't immediately realize that the person he thought was laying next to him was he himself. That reminds me of a story my mum tells. One night my dad fell asleep on his arm in a position that made it go numb. When he woke up he felt a hand on his neck, didn't realize it was his own, grabbed it and threw himself out of bed. Probably not what you imagined. As a kid, I would sleepwalk at night. In the morning, I would have no recollection of what happened. I spent the night at a friend's house when I was about 10. And the family had a fire going in the fireplace in their living room. My friend's mom decided to sleep on the couch to make sure the fire went out. And the dad went to sleep in the parents bedroom. Due to the door to their bedroom always being closed, I had never been inside. It was very, very disorienting the next morning when I awoke in said bedroom. As the dad was just waking up and getting out of his bed. He had assumed during the night I was his son and didn't question anything when I slipped into bed with him. Kudos to dad for not making it any more awkward than it already was. And that's the story of how I awoke next to my friend's dad. My freshman year roommate warned me on day one that he was a sleepwalker. A few months later I woke up to a weird smell, rolled over and saw him standing in front of the microwave watching a whole loaf of bread spin around inside as the plastic melted and smoke billowed out in his face. I yelled dude what the f peep. He said direct quote it's fine. And just got back in bed. I ran over and opened the microwave to shut it off. 30 seconds later fire alarms are blaring. And the whole building is being evacuated. We get downstairs. And I speep you not he looks at me. And says I bet some dumb f peep a burnt popcorn again. I don't know how that dude even made it to 18 without killing himself. Was in college. Went out too hard on a Thursday night, because I had no class the next day. Woke up in my own room to a girl standing there getting dressed. I was dumbfounded. She super casually put on her jacket. Said I have to get to class, and left before I could even get a word out. I never saw her again. Tried to ask friends who I came home with. Everyone said I just disappeared. Her face is burned into my mind and now. Five years later. I have no clue what happened or who I spent the night with. Got really drunk at a dorm party. Ended up carrying a passed out girl up to her room three flights of stairs. Elevator was out. Plunked her in her bed. Took her shoes off. Then passed out on her floor. She woke me up by stepping on me and yelling at me. I was too hungover to argue and just left. How about the opposite? I was out drinking with this girl and her friends I had just met. Ended up going back to their hotel room and hooking up. 
fell asleep around 3 a.m. Woke up around 5 a.m. with a bad hangover and completely alone. Somewhere between 3 and 5 the girl and her friends packed their speep and checked out of the hotel while I was asleep. Away at college. Went to a bar. Met a girl. I woke up the next morning in an on-campus apartment sharing a recliner with said girl. Neither of us lived on campus or knew who lived in the apartment we ended up at. I was taking a train from Munich to Venice. It was one of those trains that the little rooms have chairs that pull out into beds. A older Italian gentleman came in the room and as the train took off he made the sleep hand gesture. So I crashed out with this old dude. I woke up to him tapping me letting me know we will be in Venice after the next stop. Miscusi, miscusi. I was around 19 years old and at a weekend festival where most people camped out in tents. I got hammered and blacked out on Saturday and woke up on an air mattress in somebody else's tent. I sat up to get my bearings at some point in the morning and a couple was also in the tent, but not laying on the air mattress. The guy sat up right after me and said buddy, I don't know who you are, but you better get the peep out of here. I didn't stick around to ask any questions. When I was 11 I went to my friend's place for a horror movie sleep overnight. I woke up with a 4 year old boy who turned out to be her little brother, clinging to all my blankets in fear. He had eavesdropped on our sleepover after pretending to go to bed early and was now convinced a killer doll would murder him in his sleep. Their mom made us all hot chocolate and then he slept in her bed all night. I woke up to the sound of rain hitting the tent I was in not my tent and a random guy next to me saying oof peep. My unicycle. Not sure if this counts, but I woke up under and sov while tailgating at a D1 college with my pants around my knees underwear still on. Game had already begun, and as I climb out from underneath I get loud cheers oh. He's awake. From people I didn't know that were watching the game on TV outside the stadium. Turns out I was making out with one of their friends underneath the sub after stumbling up and being really friendly. I passed out mid fooling around, so she went into the game. When I was awkwardly standing there, after getting the rundown they offered me a beer and I just said yeah I think I'm gonna go home, and began the 3 mile trek back to my house. While still living at my parents house, woke up after a club night. It was still a bit dark, but I saw someone next to me in my bed. Spent 15 minutes trying to figure who this was, before I decided to take a look. Turns out it were my extra blankets I used to fill up the space between bed and wall. Decided I needed a lot more sleep before going out of bed. Not really woke up with a stranger. But I did wake up on a stranger's couch once. Looked around and sat up to see a woman staring at me. I was startled and realized I had no idea who this woman was. Then realized I was only in my underwear. So I half covered up and she asked who I was. I said my name and asked where Jill was. The girl I thought I went to see. She looked confused for a second before bursting out laughing. Turns out Jill's neighbor didn't lock her door and I was obviously very drunk. I ended up making a sandwich and drinking half a carton of orange juice before hitting the couch. Thank god she was so nice. Skylar. If you're reading this. Thank you for not calling the cops. Haha. <laughs> This reminds me of the dude who showed up on the couch of my apartment in college and stayed 4 weeks. I had 3 roommates who I wasn't really close with and I basically only slept at this place. So I assumed the guy was a friend of one of the other 3. I'd stop in to eat or grab stuff and there he'd be. In his underwear. Often playing video games that belonged to my roommates on the couch. About a week of this goes by, and one of my roommates finally approached me, and asks how long my friend will be staying on the couch, and also if I could talk to him, and request that he ask, before playing my roommate's video games. I respond, I don't know the guy. I thought he was your or Justin's friend. Nope. We go to the fourth roommate, and ask him, and he didn't know him either. So we all have a little conference, to decide how to approach it. Being that I didn't spend much time there, 
I said I didn't care how they handled it, but because I thought the whole situation was hilarious. And I respected the guy in a weird way. If it were totally up to me, I wouldn't say anything at all. Just to see how it would end without our intervention. Would he stay? For how long? Would he slowly try to gain power? Anyway, so I leave it up to them and go about my way. Couple days go by and clearly no one has spoken to him because he's still there. Finally a beautiful thing happened. I came home to find him playing video games with two of the roommates. They were interacting like old pals. This went on for about another week or to the couch drifter getting on swimmingly with my other roommates. Then one day he was just gone. No goodbyes. No drama. Just gone. I think about that guy a lot. The balls to just walk into an occupied apartment and take over the couch and TV. Must've slept on our couch for a good month or two. 